All right, well, we just about have the front fence finished up. So it's time to let the pigs out. <laughs> Today we wanted to get a GoPro on our pigs so we could see what they did all day when they free range, so. So we start this video up here by our front fence. We've been working on this all summer for about six months and we're just about completed. The last thing we need to do is to electrify this fence then we can free range some of our animals. So Becky here is working on marking this fence so I can make holes. Sure. You having fun Becky? Yep. <laughs> so she's marking where I need to drill and then I get the little insulators started and then when we get them all the way in then we're gonna run the wire down through it and then we'll be able to electrify it and then tomorrow we'll be able to get the pigs out here. And then the boys are coming behind me and they're tightening them up. Good job, bud. You having fun? <laughs> All right, well, we just about have the front fence finished up, so it's time to let the pigs out. Becky, what do you think the pigs will do today? They'll probably wander all the way around because that's what they did last time. Think they they'll... went to the back of the property, they went to the side, and a couple of them went to the front, and you'll have to stop them if we don't have the fence Hang on, let me try to put the GoPro on one right here. <laughs> I'm trying to get this GoPro on, we'll see if I can do it. Here. They're both gonna squeal. Gosh. <laughs> you want to say that again? What? So if you weren't able to hear any of that because of the screaming, today we wanted to get a GoPro on our pigs so we could see what they did all day when they free range. So we've got a GoPro on Oreo. They're just about to finish up their food and then we're gonna let them out of the fence. That was a fun start to the day. Here they go. Yeah, there they go. Don't be. So these are basically two mini potbelly pigs. So they don't grow extremely fast or anything. If we gave them a lot of food, they'd probably still grow pretty big. So we got Barbie and Oreo from a viewer back in April. And they've pretty much just been in their area a couple times they've gotten out. But this is the first time we're gonna let them out the entire day and see what happens. Well, we went and milked the cow and now we're checking in to see where the pigs are at. They're over to the garden, so they've made it a little ways away from their yard. There goes Barbie. And Oreo's way over here. Where are you going, Oreo? We've got a little bit left to do on the front fence to turn it on, so I'm gonna finish that before the pigs wander up to the front of the yard. All right, while the pigs are having fun running around the yard, we're gonna finish up the front of this fence. We got all the insulators put in last night, so now we're gonna run the wire down to the rest of the yard and then we can turn it on. We're right up here next to the fence. And here comes Oreo. Come all right, we've got the wire all run now, and so we're gonna turn on our fence charger and then our fence will all be electrified, so hopefully our pigs, cats, dogs, they don't go under the fence and gate and they stay in our yard now. I hear it. Okay, so we're gonna test how hot this fence is. Plug that in the ground, and you touch that to anywhere on the wire. It's hot. This is a really hot wire. It's about five or six times as hot as our chicken poultry fencing. So if you were to touch this, it would be a bad deal. Barbie's ready for her action shots. She's got a GoPro on. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> Not bad. 
that one's not moving. Hey Barbie. Hey Barbie. Mm, 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 mm. Barbie loves to get her scratches. It's pretty cool to have it up in the front of our yard. Ah! Oh, Joey scared her. Joey. Oreo, where are you going, bud? Joey, quit being so jealous. Oh, you want me to rub your belly? You want me to rub your belly? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oreo! Oh. Hey, Oreo. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here, Oreo. Belly. She's gonna bite you. Well, we created a whole new set of problems for ourselves. We decided to put the pigs over here. This is next to our orchard, and we've got this tree that we fell last year. This is the one you might remember that hit our emu yard right over here. And so we're gonna try to clear out all these logs, and then we'll put the pig area right in here. And it's a ton of tall grass, so we're hoping they'll have some fun over here over the next few weeks. But we've gotta cut up some logs, carry them out, and even carry a huge one that will turn into another log by our fire pit. All right, we just about have this area cleared out for the pigs. We've got two huge logs to get, drag out of here. We're gonna take them over to the fire pit and make some more sitting benches out of them. All right, we got one down. We got one more big one to, to go. I just need to make some room for it because this, this is the old fence here. We need to get out of the way here. Got it all hooked up. Let's pull her. All right, it's dark. We're just finishing up the pig area. And we're ready to put them in here tonight. They have had quite a day. Tip it, Oreo, Oreo. Come on. Come on, Piggy. Go in your house. Come on, Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Good night, Piggies. See you in the morning. Piggy, see you in the morning. Well, after removing all those logs last night, check out our finished fire pit. Got everything in position. We're all ready for a big bonfire tonight and cookout. And we've got seating now on all four sides of this fire pit. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We've got a bunch more wood stacked to use for our 
fire pit over there. Really dark last night when we got this done. But check it out, we got all the wood, we got everything cleaned out. This has been overgrown and had trees just piled up for the last year. And now we finally got it all ready for the pig. We'll be here over the next month or two. Tear this up and have some fun. We're here right over by the emus. We wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. Today I watched an iPhone photography tutorial by Emily Zatzker about shooting and editing conceptual photos on your phone. This class caught my eye because it was more than just about creative photography, but also high level editing on your phone, which is something I always do on my computer. <laughs> Emily shared where she got her ideas from, what equipment she uses, what apps she uses for editing on her phone, and how to bring a concept into reality. And thanks to Skillshare, the first thousand people that click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And after that, it's only about $10 a month. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And we'll see you guys next time. Say bye Barbie. <laughs> Joey, what are you doing? Joey.